Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are hanging out here on the Citadel server just outside of West Hill, the giant town that I've been working on for the last three, three and a half years, three and a half years. And uh, I don't normally stream on Tuesday, but here we are because I missed the entirety of last week. I, I had a sinus cold and it was not nice. And uh, I decided to just take the time to take care of myself and rest and obviously with a cold like that, being on mic is just not not fun whatsoever. Uh, so thanks for uh, all the folks that uh, sent in messages and uh, stuck around and waited for the next stream. I really appreciate all the, the well wishes. Um, speaking of well wishes, thank you to everyone who wished me a happy birthday yesterday. Uh, we're doing a belated birthday stream today and uh, I didn't get a chance to stream over the weekend, uh, which would have been fun seeing as my birthday was on Monday. And um, we didn't do it because I was still recovering and taking the time to rest. And so uh, here we are doing a, a makeup stream or a, a belated birthday stream, I guess. And we're going to pick up where we left off working on this lilac farm and all the details that have to go in. We were working on the, uh, the front yard. We had finished the side, I think, in the back. And now we're kind of swinging around the front and figuring out what details are going to go in here. I think the last thing I did was actually move this wall. So that's what's going to happen there. Yeah, all of this stuff is done. So it's really it's really this front part, the second tier, and then we'll figure out what else is going to happen as well. Uh, shout out and thank you to Cosmic Dancer for that tier one sub. Thanks ever so much. Very much appreciated. Good to see everybody. Grandpa Crafter, Blast Jordan, Sweet Sandy all hanging around. Speaking of Sweet Sandy, that's 100 bits that kicks off a hype train right after the tier one sub from Mini Packs. And uh, that is actually a gifted sub from Cosmic Dancer. A 12 month gift sub, courtesy of Cosmic Dancer, entering in the eighth month for Mini Packs. Thanks for giving that shout out to Cosmic Dancer. That's really cool that that gift sub actually goes towards the hype train, which is now launched, thanks to Sandy. So if you want to participate in that hype train, folks, it is 100 bits, a tier one sub or a prime gaming sub. And that'll help you get into the hype train. And what that does is uh, get you access to a cool Twitch emote that you may or may not already have access to, depending on how long you've been doing the hype trains. Also, it just helps me out. You know, it keeps me streaming. Keeps me streaming. Uh, Thanks very much, True Purple, and thanks very much, uh, Mini Packs, for the happy belated birthday. Um, I saw your birthday message yesterday. I tried to give a thumbs up or a thanks to everybody in Discord that wished me happy birthday, but I, I might have missed somebody since yesterday. Not sure. Uh, we're going to turn off the shaders because my computer is being twitchy right now, and I don't like it. So I'm not sure whether I sit too close to this monitor or what, but sometimes it makes me feel a little bit, a little bit dizzy. Um, so we need to think about what we're going to be doing next. I think one of the things I wanted to do was potentially remove some of these pitcher plants. I've turned my lilac farm into very much a pitcher plant farm. Like it's, it's not quite 50, 50. I think it's a little heavier on the pitcher plants. And I think what I want to do is I think the lilacs would look good up against the beets. So I kind of want to move. I think we're going to start with probably these patches here, probably all the way over to there. And we're going to make the, the lilacs kind of like loop up around, I think. I think that's what we're going to try and see how that looks. So I'll do that now in case I have to replace anything. Grandpa Crafter coming in with 300 bits. True Purple with 300 bits. And Cosmic Dancer gifting a tier one sub to Grandpa Crafter. Nope, that is 12 months of tier one to Grandpa Crafter. Cosmic Dancer, that's amazing. Twelve months to to Grandpa Crafter. That's incredible. Uh, that puts us at. I've got too many notifications. We are at two percent. Nope, it's catching up. Hype train. 
Cosmic Dancer gifting 12 months of tier one to Fazu Battlecaster. Fazu, 12 months of subs from Cosmic. Cosmic, thank you ever so much. That's a level four complete. It's probably a level five complete. Lilacs, grab those, and we need, I guess I'll put some of this other stuff away. Mylocks and potentially pitcher plants. EMP with 500 bits. Thank you ever so much. That's amazing. Did someone say birthday? Yes, they did. Cosmic Dancer with the mic drop and a puking rainbow emoji with 10,000 bits. Thanks very much, Cosmic. That's incredible. Thank you. Wow. Fazu Battlecaster with 100 bits saying, whose birthday? It was mine. It was yesterday. I guess, you know, I realized that I've done this Twitch thing and I've not changed the title of the, the Twitch stream. Thank you ever so much for all of the support, folks. It's just incredible. All right. Uh, so I guess I'll start off with these two rows and those two rows. And we'll just kind of see how she, how she goes. Oh, those have to be on coarse dirt, don't they? Right. Back to the work and lurk, says Cosmic. Otherwise, I'll never get it finished. No worries. Thank you ever so much, Cosmic. That's amazing. I really appreciate you popping in to support. And thank you for those awesome gift subs. How much is it to get level six full? Asks sweet Sandy. And it turns out it was 200 bits. Sandy, thank you ever so much. All right, so these have got to be. Oh, that's going to be a problem, isn't it? Because now we have to change. I have to change the pathing around those if we do that. Interesting. I never thought about that. That's fine. That could be, I guess it could provide some interesting challenges. All right, we'll do it. We'll do it this way then. Um, I guess I just have to count and make sure that I'm doing it, doing it right. I guess I could, I guess I could just remove them and replace them and then worry about the ground later. That's probably the better way to do it.
because the lilacs are easy to plant. We don't have to grow them again. We can just let the dirt do whatever, and that way I can still see what's going on. I'm not sure if that was clear, but... So now we are at level 7 on the hype train. Three minutes left on level 7. I think the higher the level, just the, the different emote gets unlocked, as far as I know. I think the highest level we've ever had on the stream was 13, maybe? So the real question is, how does this look? Yeah, I think I like I think I like the idea of the uh, the lilacs wrapping up around. Yeah, so I think what we'll do is I'll just slowly pick pick around it I think certainly at least one more over here level 13 is crazy I agree that's that's a lot I think that's I think that's wild all right which one was it the one that I'm looking at this one here So I'm going to go one more in that direction and then I'm going to start, I think on this end. Flux Synthesis with 100 bits saying happy birthday. Thanks very much. Really appreciate that. And the last 15 seconds. But that's just an incredible hype train. Level 7. We haven't hit level 7 in a long time. It normally goes to like 3 or 4. I very much appreciate all the support, folks. Thank you. Yeah, I feel like it kind of it does a nice little wrap, wrap around there. And I'd like to do the same thing. So I think we'll do at least the first three rows here. It's wild that I'm doing this because it took a long time for these to grow up. Because you can't plant them again without, um, like, to get the bulb. You have to plant the bulb. So I received a level three hype train emote. I'm curious if you've got a new emote from that hype train, could you throw it in chat? Let everybody know what emote you got. Uh, was somebody asking about where I am? Yeah, I'm in uh, Nova Scotia.
Channel record is 2% of level 13. So it was a full, a full level 12 was the highest we've ever done. Okay. Uh, are you and Jim from the same province? No, not quite. <clears throat> I say not quite. Newfoundland is still pretty far from Nova Scotia, but we're in the same Atlantic region. We're in Atlantic Canada. She is just a, a bit farther um, north and farther east than I am. And like on an island, she's very, very much off the coast. Seems like you have all the emotes already. Fazu got a B, it looks like. I got like a little girl with a, a, a sailor hat on, I guess. I don't know. Or ho hold on, I'll share it. I'll share. This is the one. This is the one that I got. I hardly ever use emotes anyway. All right. Did that? I don't think that made much of a difference because you can't see it from down here. Just a little bit there. And then you'll see more of it as you get up higher here. Yeah, I much prefer that than the, the full ream of, uh, of pitcher plants. Looks a little bit funny on the map. I'm going to do this one too. I think we can do something special with that. Maybe put some uh, some flowering azalea on it, maybe. Yeah, there needs to be some sort of pink down here to kind of fold it all together. But I much like that view. Uh, I like it a lot better. I much like. Now, hard to tell that I've not been streaming for a little while. Um, I much prefer this view with the pink in front of the the turquoise. I think that works out well. I think we'll leave this. I don't think I want to mess with this top tier. I think we'll leave that like that. Uh, and then if we can, maybe we'll put in some other pink bushes and stuff up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that kind of percolate in my brain a little bit make sure I like it and if I do what we'll do is we'll bring this pathing up here to go between the lilacs and then we'll transition into the dirt but um, I don't want to do all that work if I decide that I don't like the lilacs and I want to go back I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep them but I like I don't like doing things over and over and over again so we're going to leave that for now and I think what I'll do is I'll come back up here and we'll probably do this front lawn which I think is just going to be more flower beds. I think maybe we'll do a combination of the pink petals and the azure blue A's maybe. I think that could be fun. So we've got lots of these now. What would potentially go with the pink petals the best? I guess maybe tulips, alliums, azure blue A's, and I don't think I want to do any coral. The green on these is unfortunately too wild. It doesn't really match. Potentially the blue orchid.
blank Benji with 1,000 bits. Holy smokes, Benji. Happiest of belated birthdays to you, sir. Thanks very much, blank Benji. That's very kind of you. I really appreciate the support. Uh, an island in the North Atlantic that seems sort of dicey. Yeah, you can talk to Jim and I, Tay, about the weather in Newfoundland. I'm sure she'll have a lot to say. Although Nova Scotia is a couple hundred miles away from being an island. Like we're really, if you look at Nova Scotia on the map, it is a peninsula and only connected to the rest of Canada by a very small stretch in between Truro and Sackville, New Brunswick. <clears throat> All right, so I've got dirt. I'm going to need some moss. I'm going to need some carpet. I'm going to need some green concrete. Some azalea. It's probably mostly what I need. So here I just made the flower bed out of rooted dirt and then started um, placing down the flowers where we got the extra ones. And so I think I'll probably do the same. So I'll clear these up. These were naturally here. So I'm trying to kind of take some inspiration from, from the, the landscape. I think what we can do is maybe we'll have two flower beds, like one in this kind of corner and one in this kind of corner. So maybe something like that. And then we'll separate. Maybe this one will be a little bit smaller. This could probably come up a little bit closer. I feel like that's probably pretty good. So then what I was doing was choosing the spots that had the highest flower count with our little data pack that we have. That is not really working out to our favor, is it? Hmm. I think maybe we need to get some bushes up here. I think that might be a good, good combo. Flux Synthesis, thanks very much for the lurk. I really appreciate it. Yeah, that's a lot of color in front of the house. So maybe what we'll do is here, what I had done was do like little rows of these. So maybe we'll do something similar here. And then maybe we can have that maybe either cross the threshold or, or seemingly cross the threshold. And then here, where we've got single flowers, we can do bushes. Oh, 
Although, it's probably going to look better with flowering. Whoops. Blast Jordan, thanks so much for coming by. Appreciate it. Maybe we can mix things up. Maybe we can't. Those look pretty good on their own anyway, even when they're not fancy, whereas this looks really lonely. So maybe we can do a little bit of blue. It does sort of stand out though, doesn't it? That's a good combo. Yeah, this tends to look better with more manicured grass around it than it does the big bushy grass, so maybe we'll stick with that. I feel like I'd want to have a little bit of a path over this way. So maybe I'll put like a little stone path or something there. <laughs> this is very pink for you. Did that sign as cold <laughs> affect something that we don't know? Um, no, I think it's just that I want to lean into what's already working. I think I had started off to do the lilac farm and because of all the pitcher plants, it went more blue. So I'm trying to swing back the other direction. Heck Hayes, thanks for the follow, appreciate it.
So even though I know that it's like an empty bush, it feels a little bit more like trampled, trampled material. I feel like it works a little bit better. I might want a little bit less going on here. Maybe tough needs to go there. <laughs> Can I get that in writing? Yeah, we're still fighting for spring here. It hasn't quite hit yet. There's grass, but the buds are not on the trees yet. Uh, tough. I can't think of any other green blocks that go really well on the ground like that. I guess I just have to look at what I did over here. Oh, the tops of azaleas are a good idea, too. Is it birch? Yeah, that's a birch bush. Maybe that's a good idea, is to kind of vary up the bush a little bit. Pretty sure that's birch. Nope. What is that? Oh, it's acacia. Yep. That's pretty good. I think I might want to have something a little bit darker underneath the azalea. What was I doing over here? Mangrove wood, maybe? No, root of dirt. Or mangrove, muddy mangrove roots, it looks like. And mangrove wood. Mangrove wood be here. It's definitely still cool outside here. Um, it's nice in the sun. I was sitting and reading on Sunday outside in shorts and a t-shirt, no less.
Now this might be too dark. That's a little bit better. That's a really subtle difference. I thought it was going to be stronger. But I think that helps. Uh, now, I guess we know where these are. Do we want this to remain tulips? I think we might be going with more of these alliums. I'm trying to make this a little bit more green, I think. So this is all flowers. I kind of want this to be a mix of green. The pink are okay, but I think the pink tulips, they need something in front of them. So this might be a good spot for the tulips. So they're not so loud. And then everything else we can do as alliums. And I don't know, maybe maybe that just ends up being a bush. No. So it's pretty good. I don't know if I like that the three alliums are all in a row. Kind of want to offset that a bit. Maybe we'll put a bush between them. Oh, that doesn't look right either. I'm not sure what it is outside today. I want to say it's only five or six degrees. Well, technically it says it's eight, but it feels like four because it's quite windy. And humidity is at 57, so kind of, it's not damp, but it's not, uh, not exactly sunshiny and warm either. I think that's the right combo. I'm just wondering if there's a better choice for right here. I'm gonna say maybe what we need to do there is just hit that with some bone meal. And maybe this has to be something else.
The sun is bouncing back and forth, like it's peeking out here and there, but it's uh, few and far between. Full inventory before the first break. Surprised it took that long, honestly. That's decent. I think we might need a little bit more of that. Yeah. I wonder if I should just go up a block with this. Mm, it's a little bit too much, I think. I like the two ferns though. I think organically that's working. I think it'll look a lot nicer. I, I think when we do decorate the, the wall, when I decide the final blocks in the wall, I think we'll get there. But this feels like maybe like a little path from the door to maybe go get some more, more of this stuff. Maybe we'll put like a, oh, I, don't, I think I wanted to put this over here instead. So weirdly that feels this feels like part of that when it it should feel more like part of this the best we're going to go best we're going to get I think that looks pretty organic it sort of looks like those flowers would have been planted but then also kind of encouraged along the way as well this is a good solution I like that so it looks like we're going heavy on the allium again so I'll put those where we've got the double flowers and then we can replace one of them with the tulips I think we'll have the same thing here. Well, we'll probably end up going with a uh, buried or sub subground thing like that, and then we'll go back up here.
I might even want to take that down a notch in color. Do the coarse dirt thing. That starts to feel right. And then we can use, can remove that, go back to moss and then go pink petal and top it up like that maybe. I like these um, azalea sapling tops, but you can't put anything on top of them. That's a plant that it doesn't doesn't register like that. Matt B three hundred. Hello. We'll go with regular azalea there. Looks like a good spot for a fern. Works for me. Uh, the azalea plant uh, looks like it's more than one block tall, or am I seeing things? Which one? This one? That azalea there? It's got moss carpet on top of it. In the ground. Oh. Uh... This one, you mean like when it's in the ground? No, nope. I think it's just an optical illusion because of the, the bush next to it. It's all flat. I do have grass in places and you know, in some places. So there's that too, right? Not grass, uh, moss carpet. I do like the patterns that you can make with these um these little pink petals. Oh, that doesn't look good at all. That's a little bit better. Peanut butter, doing well. Thank you very much. Although, as you say that, I realize that it's it's about that time to take a break and uh, a good spot to do it. I feel like I'm hitting a little bit of a creative wall here, so we're going to take that break that I take once an hour for folks that are new in the stream gives me a chance to uh, refresh my coffee grab a glass of water that kind of stuff and we'll be back in about five or six minutes
I've really lucked out today in both cases where I've been coming back from being either away on a break or um, starting the stream. It was nighttime and raining when I sat down at the computer. So it uh, it was easy to get rid of and then we haven't had to deal with rain while, been, while we've been trying to build. A lot of mobs, including a creeper in my shulkers. Is that everybody? Everybody that's nearby, anyway. I am so glad that we don't have to deal with spiders of that size in real life. <laughs> I've been watching the Fallout series on on uh, Prime Video. And cockroaches are the size of dogs. Nope. No thank you. No thank you. It's not too symmetrical? No, that's good. Okay. I think what needs to happen back here is maybe more wall. It feels a little sparse here, but I think if we put more slabs there, then that'll probably solve that issue. That's pretty good. Obu gifted a tier one sub to Matt B300. Thanks very much, Obu. Good to see you. And Matt Obu has resubscribed themselves at tier one. 28 months saying happy birthday. It's your birthday too today. I didn't realize our birthdays were a day apart, Obu. That's amazing. I'm a little surprised I didn't know that. Well, happy birthday to you too. So if you've given me a belated shout out in stream, folks, for a happy birthday, you have an opportunity to wish Obu a happy birthday on the day. Right here, right now. It's a little bit too convenient, maybe. I need to get more of this um, stuff in the ground happening. I wonder if that would be better off here. No, you know, I think I like the flowers better.
I do need to find a way to put it in somewhere though. Maybe here? Well, yes, but not not those. I think we'll go with Azalea. Or Acacia, rather. What do I have too much of? Coarse dirt, I guess. Hunter triple five. Great to see you. Yeah, how did I end up with this much coarse dirt? It's just bone meal for pink petals, right? Right. Thanks so much, Blank Benji. I really appreciate the kind words. Take care. Thanks for being here. Yeah, that's uh, that's really changed the look of this front of it, hasn't it? I'm surprised. You know, you don't think about the flowering azalea as being dark until you see it next to the um, the allium. It's a it's a much darker purple. I guess it's misleading if you're looking at the top of it, but yeah, they're not the same. I actually quite like the tulips and the allium together. They really just kind of look like a new plant. It just looks like something entirely different. That might be a good spot to have something like mossy cobble. I guess we could have another bush around the back. Just a little one.
so glad that there's a bed in here. Makes it a lot easier. Uh, iron ore. That's an interesting idea. Never thought about that. We were looking for a sawdust type looking block. We don't seem to be using the blue flowers either. Uh, iron ore. Let's just pop over and get some. Oh no. No, no, it's not bad. See, I think, unfortunately, well, I know that there's a lot of, of people that will jump in and be like, hey, you know, backseating, not my favorite thing. Um, and it's not mine. I really dislike it. But the thing is, like, it's all about context and presentation. You know, I just thought maybe iron ore instead of cobble might resemble some sawdust. Like, that's not you telling the streamer what to do, right? That's just a suggestion and in context like I'd, i had said like maybe mossy cobble will look good there right and that's that's an invitation for ideas um backseat gaming to me is when someone comes in and starts telling me what to do without me asking for it and completely out of the current discussion context like if someone just said um trying to think about what might be good like if someone said it's all purple you should add yellow you know or um i'm trying to think about something else that would be some people would just be like completely non sequitur like you should you know um add cobblestone to the path or just when we're working on the gardens and people come in and say you do this you know or give me a tour that that's that's a pretty common one hey stop what you're doing and cater to me is kind of the the context usually the thing with um with backseat gaming the the underlying tone isn't helping the streamer it's hey look at me in chat right that's that's the thing i think yeah, I, maybe in a larger context, this would look good. But for now, I think that to me, it just looks like iron ore stuck at the bottom. I think if it was a bigger wood pile, you could probably get away with it. Or if we, or maybe if we had more of it, it would certainly work if we could have iron ore in dirt, right? If those little flecks were inside the dirt, that would look fantastic. But I think that I'm going to stick with the, what I have there, cobbled? Yeah. I really do like the look of acacia leaves in the ground. Matas Boof, thanks very much for the birthday wish. Appreciate it. Uh, you understood Matt's message to be raw iron blocks. Oh, did I get that wrong?
Oh, uh, I see, I see, I see. Hold on. Those I have, actually, right here. Pretty sure. No, I don't have those either. All right. Uh, those I don't tend to use because I don't like the texture. I can see what you mean. Um, but I think what I'd rather pile around this is actually uh, this stuff. I think that's probably a little bit better. That was expensive. I think that flows pretty well. I think I might have overdone it. Maybe we need to dial this back. Yeah. Solid pass. I might actually, even though this is really straight, I think I do want to remove this. And maybe we'll try to work in some extra textures up here. Oh, I don't have the dark brown. Raw gold blocks surrounded by trapdoors to be buckets of potatoes? Yeah, I could see that maybe. Do I have? I don't tend to have the raw ore blocks in this thing, but I should have them. I should have them in my ender chest as like a texture block. I think they do have their merit. I've used, I've used them somewhere. I don't remember where though. Probably in like one of the um, the blacksmithy places into town. I feel like I've used them there. Oh, uh, anybody remember what I came over here for? Oh, right. Uh, oh, I need to make more. Might as well keep the gravel. Yeah, gla um, ice in tall buildings. If you need it to look good from the ground, I think ice can sometimes be a better block for glass. I agree with that. 
I wish we had more options for glass in the game. Not sure what I'm going to do up here. I I think I want it to stay. I don't know if I want to do a dirt path. I kind of I kind of think the front should be more stone and then the dirt stuff can be popping off to the sides. I think I like what I did over by the inn better than having dirt everywhere. It is a bit of a a fancier looking farm. Yeah, I think I like this as an idea for a path. I mean, you can always have little bits, but I think I like that. At least for the front. So like, like this part could be stone. These just look so uninteresting. I, f I find that it's hard, especially without my pebble texture, because normally my core dirt has got like a pebble variant in it, but I find it really difficult in Minecraft to have something look like what would be probably a cart path, but a cart path in real life would have rocks and um, divots and, and grass kind of coming up through it, and we can't quite do that in Minecraft. So yeah, I think something needs to shift, that's for sure. All right, well, we also have this little spot to worry about too. Uh, so what we had been doing along here was putting rooted dirt underneath everything. I think that's probably good, you know? I guess we should check to maybe see if there's a flower that could work here. It is a little bit heavy to the front, but I do like it. Yep, definitely that one. Oh, that tends to line up a little bit too much. Okay. I feel like that's... Uh pretty good. Yeah. So somewhere around here, I think the stones would stop and we would get 
over into like more of a dirt thing going around the corner. But I feel like this could benefit from being stone. What did I do out back? Yeah, I had I had some stone and gravel out here. So I feel like we could probably do something like that out here. So maybe I'll throw something down. Just like a temporary idea here. Maybe have something in front of the door look like it's worn down. Throw in some tough. That might be a little bit too much. Thank you, Cosmic. Appreciate it. Yeah, maybe we need actually something in the corner here. I don't know, maybe another bush. That's actually pretty good. Not bad. Yeah, I think we can probably work with that. I think if we start to get a little bit more of an organic looking cobblestone path for the main approach here, we can sort of switch it to the dirt when it goes around the the, the house. But I think that could be a little bit more, more interesting, uh, but pretty good. I set out to finish the front lawn and we did. So all of this now, when you walk it around, I think the only thing we've missed is this, uh, yeah, this is done. This had like a first pass, but it isn't quite there yet. I mean, that's what we've been doing. So we'll probably continue that. I wouldn't mind doing a little bit more over here. Like I feel like this could probably benefit from, from maybe some, uh, some flowers or something. So we'll, we'll mess around with that. Um, it does have that extra little bit of green in front of it. So it's be, be fun to play with that. But this I think looks pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. Uh, we'll work on the second tier and the wall uh, next time. But I feel like that looks good. Like I feel like it's, it feels like it's got some wildflowers going, but it also feels like it's, it's an intentional garden. Like it's meant to be there. This I think does the job also feeling a little bit more overgrown, less walked on. This, the opposite feels walked on. So I think we're doing pretty good. Uh, that's going to be where I need to wrap it up, though. It is a, a Tuesday. I don't normally stream on Tuesdays, and uh, it is one of those things where I kind of squeezed it in where I could. Uh, we're going to pass you along to Megabyte, who's playing Minecraft. I think you will enjoy that. Thank you ever so much, everyone, for the lovely birthday wishes, the uh, support, the gift subs, the bits. Uh, I really, truly appreciate it. Uh, as an FYI, uh, what I'm going to be doing with uh, the support that I got today is picking up the new Lego Ultimate Collector Series TIE Fighter or TIE Interceptor, I should say. Uh, and that is, uh, I think, something I can buy tonight and when it goes on sale. So the Lego Let's Chat Fridays will be back for quite a few weeks because that's a big kit. It's like two or 3,000 pieces. So you can expect that to be happening. Oh, uh, did Maggie Bite wrap up? I will. I can pass everybody on to somebody else playing Minecraft. Hold on, let me just check the check the things. You are indeed correct. I think everybody's kind of wrapped things up. Um, yeah, we'll pass you along to Scotsman UK, member of this community and a, a member of the Sponge Chunks community, and a fantastic builder. So I think you'll enjoy your time over with Scotsman for sure. Um, once again, check out things I do online at joelduggan.com. You can check out 
The Spawn Chunks podcast new episode came out yesterday where we talked about the release of 1.20.5. You can also follow the Citadel Cafe. Both the Spawn Chunks and the Citadel Cafe are podcasts that are free that you can get wherever you find your favorite podcasts. I will be back Thursday, as far as I know. Uh, and that is a regular one o'clock Atlantic stream. That's UTC minus four hours. And uh, I really appreciate, again, all of the lovely support and the lovely birthday wishes. If you received a gift sub today, as many of you did, check out the Discord. You can join it via Twitch by connecting Twitch and Discord and then looking for the Joel Duggan Discord in your connections tab. You can also just check out patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. It is the most affordable way to way to support me and to join the Discord. It is $2 a month. That's less than the price of a cup of coffee. It does a great deal to help me continue to stream because the more people that decide to do that uh, $2 support, uh, the more that I can do this streaming thing. And I really do enjoy it. And I love hanging out with you folks. So uh, thanks again for the birthday wishes. And I will see you on Thursday. Bye for now.